All right, what's up ladies and gents? So today we are gonna be going over how to scrape Instagram profiles from Instagram. So first we wanna start off by right click inspect element, make sure we have this tab open. And right now we're just going to filter by fetch XHR. So if we search for my profile, then we can see all the stuff here, boom, and that's it. That's exactly what we want. Like this is literally it. Uh, yeah, so it's not very hard. So the web profile info, username, and then the username. And then you can see all the data here, which is a lot, which is significant. And it even has the um, first posts as well. So you can see the edges right here. So this is graph video, and then has all that information. So um, tons of information. And then you can see everything here, like my links, uh, biography, Facebook ID, uh, uh, ID, profile, pick URL, etc. Yeah, so pretty easy. So all we do is copy as node fetch. And then, oh, I gotta actually find something to put this in. Okay, we're back. So if we go const res equals await and then paste that, let's make sure to add a user agent. And let's get rid of the cookie, make sure it doesn't need that. And let's check it out. So let's log response. Now we're going to make it on. Let's just automatically use a proxy because I'm pretty sure this is definitely going to work with um, my residential IPs. But we want to see if this works with a proxy. So we're going to agent get uh, like smart proxy agent. Let's try that. And let's go ahead and run this thing. So no test.js. Woo! -hoo. Now if we try different profiles like Carson can't code. Yeah, I noticed that it's working with the uh, smart proxy IPs. And this is just the data center ones. I guess you didn't know that, but now you do. That this is a data center IP, so um, the fact that it's working with that is like money because that's really, really cheap for us. And then, oh, what does he say he is? Oh, backend developer founder. I think, uh, I think that this is my buddy Mike Powers' handle. Let's see if it is. Boom. Yeah, so that's it. That's how you scrape Instagram profiles. And then if you want to get the rest of the videos, then I believe there is a cursor. Yeah. So you see like the next, um, has next page and end cursor. So you're going to use this cursor uh, to make the request for additional pages of videos or posts. So if you go like this and then we um, scroll, then yeah, you'll see right there that the variables, so that's the cursor right there, the after, and then the ID might be my ID. Um, yeah, and then that's kind of it if you want more of the posts. So that's it.